Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Rocky Cinemore, you can just call me Hydra Rockies, and the gameplay in the background right now is actually by Hydra Jeep, the co-leader of Team Hydra, and what you guys are going to be watching is going to be a very unique double DNA bomb without perks. It's super fucking hard to get, so go show some love to Jeep in the description down below. His link will be the first one in the description down below, and Jeep could you really use some love right now, so if you guys could check out Jeep and show him some love, that would be much appreciated. Say from Team Hydra in one of his videos, just comment and be like, I came from Team Hydra, that'd be awesome. I would love you guys forever, and I'm sure he would too. But what I want to talk about today is actually the Havoc DLC that dropped, and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my opinions. Now, the Havoc DLC actually dropped earlier today, and uh, you know, I've been seeing a lot of live streams, I've been seeing a lot of videos, and you know, overall I've been watching a lot of multiplayer gameplay, a lot of Exo Zombies gameplay, and overall, I'm not too impressed. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not too impressed. Now, for multiplayer, let's start there. For multiplayer, I like only one map, and that is Sideshow. Now, personally, I haven't played any of the maps because I'm on PlayStation. However, I do know a lot of people who have played the new Havoc DLC, and I would have to say that Sideshow is probably my favorite map right now. I think it's the only one that you can get fast-paced gameplays on. Now, the rest of the maps might be small, but they're they're very difficult to navigate and they're they have a lot of vantage points where people can camp and I've been seeing a lot of camping why you would buy the DLC to just sit in the corner on the map I have no idea but you know I, I honestly think that sideshow right now is the only map that I would play out of the four maps that came in the DLC now I haven't seen too much I'm doing this commentary pretty early I but I've seen you know a decent amount I've seen enough that I think I could voice my opinion on it and I think that sideshow is the only map that I could you know see myself playing on let me know in the comment section down below what maps you guys like if you like all four of them great let me know if you played them and which one is your favorite so far if you haven't played them same thing just let me know which one you think is the best and which one you think you know you would like the most if you were playing it but you know let's dive on to exo zombies now now this is the main talk for everybody right now exo zombies has you know they're kind of trying to cop Treyarch cop tra I can't talk they're trying to copy not cop Treyarch zombies and you know overall I think they did a pretty good job almost copying Treyarch zombies now you kind of started out with a pistol four grenades much like you see in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 or whatever Treyarch zombies you're playing you start out with a pistol and grenades and you start out together and you gotta you know earn some money killing the zombies knifing the zombies and you gotta you know maneuver around the map open some doors try to find the mystery box try to find the upgrade and uh, you know that that part looks pretty much the same now I've watched a lot of zombies you know rounds 1 through 15 and stuff like that and I think it's a lot slower than Treyarch zombies honestly like Treyarch zombies gets progressively harder every round and it's like a notable it's like a noticeable progression in the zombies in Treyarch now I feel like in this game levels 1 through 10 don't even show that much of improvement so once you get to like I don't know 10 is when the zombies start to get harder and when it actually seems to you know pile up but I don't see the same progression features that I see in Treyarch as far as the zombies now you know this is their first shot at it that's great they did a great job nonetheless they did a great job the map looks great I love how everything looks the map is great the sounds are great I love the sounds if you guys listen to just the game audio the sounds are phenomenal man I love the sounds they sound great I love the twist they put in with the power and disabling the exos and re-enabling the exos and all that I think they did a great job with that I think overall I might have to buy the DLC just for the zombies because you know it does add that fun factor I could see myself playing zombies in this game it does look pretty decent and after they make some patches and change some things I think that zombies is gonna be great and if we see a three-year development cycle like we're seeing right now and we have Treyarch and and sledgehammer on zombies I think it could be very unique I think it could be great I think they'll put infinity ward out of business pretty fast but overall, the zombies looks and feels, or not feels, I can't say feels, I haven't played it. It sounds and looks pretty decent. I do think they could have made some other changes that would have made it a lot better. However, I don't want to dive too far into those because I don't have too long to talk. But, you know, I, I do think that Exo Zombies is, you know, actually decent. I think it's decent. As far as the multiplayer goes, I don't think they did a good job at all. 
I, I think one map out of the four is even decent and that's something we that I've kind of noticed I don't know if you guys have noticed that the DLCs in Call of Duty have got progressively worse and worse to the point that the multiplayer maps you play them for a day you play them for a week and then you just put them down because they're they're honestly not that good if you put the DLC in the game when the game comes out then fine we have maps that we might not like we don't have to pay for them but you make us pay for four DLC maps and then we end up not liking them it's just I don't know man it feels like a scam to me it's, it feels like a circle a vicious circle that we go round and round buying the DLC ending up not liking it and we maybe play one map or one game mode and that one map in my opinion right now is Sideshow and that one game mode is Exo Zombies. The weapon that came with it, the AE4, isn't even good man. I don't even like the AE4. It's kind of ass man. I have it on PS4. I picked it up. I, I use it a lot. It's kind of ass man. I'm not even going to lie. The AE4 is decent if you know how to use it but it's not good man. They should have just added an AR. Why would you add another fucking energy weapon? That's so stupid man. But, you know, what, what are we going to do, man? We're suckers. We keep buying it no matter what. We keep buying into their DLC and their fucking scams for nothing. But, I don't know. That's pretty much it, guys. Don't forget to check out the man behind the gameplay, Hydra Jeep, in the description down below. As well as myself, if you enjoyed my commentary at any point during this video. I'm Rockies Animal, or you can just call me Hydra Rockies. I'm out for the day, guys. Peace.